I brew beer because it's the perfect marriage of science and fun. <laughs> we make beer, but we make more than we make beer, we make unique beers. I brew beer because uh, I wanted to make something that's going to bring people together, uh, bring people some, some pleasure, um, and uh, you know, to kind of start pushing the envelope a little bit on what I was seeing in the marketplace. And I was starting to see you know, kind of the same things over and over again. And this is our uh, test facility. Uh, we're here in the Mission in San Francisco. Today we're, we're testing um, uh, kind of a spiced beer uh, for the holiday season. Uh, we've added a lot more grain to it, so we've pumped up the alcohol a little bit. Uh, we're calculating this to be about 8% alcohol, uh, and to have a nice kind of uh, kind of Christmassy, Thanksgiving-y kind of like a spice component to it. We'll see. I mean, this is the first time we've done this beer, uh, so you know, this we normally do probably between four and six versions of a beer, uh, adding and subtracting things as we see fit. You know, we're experimenting. We're, we're trying new things. When you don't know what's going to happen, it's an experiment. Yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> with this, I hope it's good. We have. A it should be good. But we'll see. If it's right. Good. Exactly. So for this beer, the ingredients that we're using is uh, again we're going back to barley. A lot of barley, mostly barley. Uh, we added some special grains like oats and rye uh, for some spice and for some some body. And then we added we're going to be adding cinnamon and nutmeg, cloves and a little bit of coriander. Um, all of those are going to add a different flavor component uh, to, the, to the finished beer. We're going to mash in now. Uh, you ready, Brian? Let's do it. So we take barley that's been malted through, uh, through a process that has allowed uh, some simpler sugars to be created within, the, within the, the, the grain itself, the granule itself. What we've done is we've cracked that granule open and we've exposed it to uh, about 150 degree water for about an hour and what that's allowed uh, to happen is some enzyme, enzymatic action to break down some more uh, the sugars that are in there. Then uh, that sweet liquid, it's now called wort, and then that is drained off of the grain so all we're, all we're left with is this kind of sweet liquid that we then boil for about an hour. And what we're doing during this boiling process is we're doing a couple different things. We're sterilizing uh, the liquid itself. We're adding hops, which are bittering, um, and we're, we're, so we're trying to balance some of that sweetness uh, that we're gonna get later on. We're gonna add in some, uh, some coriander, some cloves, then cinnamon. And at the last, we're gonna add in nutmeg. Okay. And now it's starting to smell like Christmas. After your beer is completely finished brewing, um, you're left with a room temperature barley tea, sugary substance. And in order to get alcohol and flavors, you need to add yeast. And it's a single-celled organism naturally occurring that you just harvest from the air. And uh, we don't do that. We have somebody else propagate yeast for us. And then we, we're given a vial. We pour the vial in, and it has several million cells in it. And then uh, the yeast will, will consume the sugars, the maltose, sucrose, fructose, whatever sugar you have in your beer, and produce ethanol and CO2. Uh, you let the CO2 bubble out, um, and then you, the, the ethanol becomes dissolved, uh, usually around 5-10% in the beer. Yeast are very finicky, and they're living organisms, so you really have to treat them with care and uh, treat them as if they're going to die, because they will. <laughs> this will ferment for about seven days. We'll allow fermentation to last for about seven days. After everything drops out, we'll take the, the clear and clarified finished beer off of it, put it into a keg, and then we'll carbonate it using CO2. Uh, and then it'll be ready to go, be ready to be served.